Will Moses come as one of two witnesses? An interpretation of the Holy Bible. Biblical prophecy buffs are looking for two witnesses who are to appear in Jerusalem during the end times. I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. The two witnesses will operate miracles like those that Moses and Elijah had done. They have the power to shut the sky, that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying, and they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. One of the two witnesses will almost certainly be the prophet Elijah returned from heaven. Malachi wrote, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. Jesus affirmed, Elijah does come, and he will restore all things. In reference to prophetic events, Moses and Elijah appeared together to Jesus, as three of his disciples were watching. As he was praying, the appearance of his face was altered, and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were talking with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. When warning of a coming apostasy, Jesus asserted that the scriptures of Moses witness of him. You search the scriptures and it is they that bear witness about me. If another comes in his own name, you will receive him. There is one who accuses you, Moses, on whom you have set your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me. Will Moses return from heaven to accuse Israel of apostasy, during the days of the Antichrist? A return to the law of Moses, given at Horeb, will be part of a future, national revival under Elijah. Remember the law of my servant Moses, the statutes and rules that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. It was at Horeb that Moses received his charge from Yahweh God. He later wrote Yahweh's words. You stood before the Lord your God at Horeb where the Lord said to me, Gather the people to me. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and rules, that you might do them in the land that you are going over to possess. Is Moses yet again to perform this duty towards Israel? It was at Horeb that Elijah received his final revelation from God before he was taken up alive into heaven. Elijah traveled forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God. There he came to a cave and lodged in it. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him. He will leave seven thousand in Israel, all the knees that have not bowed to Baal. It was at Horeb that Israel fell into apostasy, just as political Israel today remains apostate, unbelieving and disobedient. In Horeb they exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox. They forgot God, their Savior having no faith in his promise. Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before him, to turn away his wrath from destroying them. Moses was looking for Messiah's arrival when Israel's population would attain 10 million. Whenever the ark set out, Moses said, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered and let those who hate you flee before you. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the ten thousand thousands of Israel.
In summary, both Moses and Elijah. 1. Operated miracles like those of the two witnesses. 2. Had ministries of turning Israel back to their God. 3. Encountered God at Horeb. 4. Received messages from God for Israel. 5. Appeared with the Lord Jesus and talked with him. 6. Would gain respect from Israel and Jews. 7. Represent the Law and the Prophets.